Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I do a lot of videos on cybersecurity, IT, education, and career type things. And today's video is going to be kind of like a, a, a guide slash review of the Bachelors of Science in Cybersecurity and Information Assurance degree from WGU. This video actually came from a, a mentoring session. I started doing mentoring recently and like the very first person I had a, a session with, um, they were actually considering, or they actually enrolled in this degree and they just kind of wanted to schedule a session with me to kind of talk about it and break things down to kind of make it more manageable and, and less uh, overwhelming. So kind of the, the result of that session was this document that I'm going to talk about today. So I'll kind of go over that a little bit. I'm just going to try to break down the degree the best I can and give some tips and like pointers on how to tackle it in an efficient and an effective way without getting overwhelmed too much. This is one of the coolest degrees that WGU offers, in my opinion. It, it just has like a lot of third party certificates and it's a little bit tough so I don't want people to be like deterred from it if you're considering to get this degree so I thought it would be good to kind of take our mentoring session and then um, not the session itself but like kind of the topics of it and then make a video and kind of publish it for everybody to watch so in this video I'll kind of give a breakdown of the classes like the general classes versus the core classes versus kind of the specialized security classes kind of show some strategies on how to like tackle each one of them individually like kind of what I do when I'm doing degrees at WGU as well as your options for bringing in transfer credits like if you want to kind of decrease the time that it takes to complete your degree once you're enrolled kind of get rid of some of those general and core classes I'll kind of show you a strategy on how to do that and also kind of look at um, the marketability of all the different certs that come along with this degree uh, so yeah if you're considering uh, this degree or any degree at all go ahead and watch this video I think it will be really useful to you and just a disclaimer before we start um, I don't actually have this degree I have I have three degrees from WG like the computer science degree, the normal IT degree, and then the kind of master's version of this, the master of science and in information what is it, Master of Science, Cybersecurity and Information Assurance. Um, in my opinion, the bachelor's in cybersecurity is harder than the master's because there's like way more classes. So I don't have this exact degree, but I have a bunch of other ones. So I think I can um, at least speak to this uh, well enough. So yeah, let's get started. So just a super brief introduction to WGU in case you don't know. It's basically an online not-for-profit university. It has accreditation with Northwest Commission on Colleges and Universities, uh, kind of same accrediting body that a lot of state colleges use. And basically like how it works, you pay for one term at a time. So you pay for six months and you can kind of complete as many courses as you can in that six month time period. So essentially, uh, in theory, right, if you registered and you completed all your courses, in six months, right, in theory, you only have to pay for one term of school. And that's usually somewhere between like $3,500 and $3,800 or $4,000, depending on the program. So what we're kind of looking at here is uh, the spreadsheet I kind of made for the the mentee or the, the person I had a mentoring session with that kind of breaks down the, the courses for the um, cybersecurity information assurance bachelor's degree. This is like a really noisy spreadsheet with a lot going on in it. So I'll just kind of take the time to explain. And this is what we'll use to kind of uh, plan for the degree and kind of to break things down and make them a little more uh, manageable. So basically this first column, this is just like the course code um, usually like when people talk about these courses on Reddit, they'll usually refer to it by the course code. So typically you would Google like, you know, WGUC 455, for instance, uh, if you want to look up things about English Composition 1. And and by the way, I'm going to put a link for this uh, spreadsheet in the description. So go ahead and open it. It's probably like really hard to look at here because it's tiny. Uh, but yeah, so this is the course code. This is the name of the course, of course, and units. Units is not really relevant, but I kind of put it in there anyway. And course type. Um, this isn't like super relevant, but it kind of gives you a good idea of the type of courses that are in this program. So you have like kind of a bunch of general courses, which are not necessarily related to IT or security. Then you have these kind of core IT courses. You'll, you'll find these in most of, if not all the bachelor's degrees at WGU, the kind of core technology courses that you have to take. And then you'll have these kind of specialized courses that are like specialized for your particular degree. So under specialization for the um, the bachelor's cyber degree, you'll, you'll find kind of a lot of security type and kind of specialized IT courses in here. Mostly they're going to be related to security. And as a general rule of thumb, generally speaking, like the general courses are the easiest on, on average and the core courses are kind of you know middle of the road like they're not too easy but they're not too hard 
And then generally speaking, the specialization courses are a little bit harder than the, the core courses and the general courses. This isn't like 100% for all of the courses, but it's just kind of a, a good rule of thumb to go by. And I will say like um, on the right here, like this assessment type, like which courses are performance courses like that have essays that you have to write and then the objective courses, which is like the multiple choice exam. And these kind of red ones here, these are like the third party um, external exams that will be proctored by like a third a third party if that makes sense so you'll kind of notice like most of the external exams like the third party exams fall in the specialization uh, course type and that's because typically speaking these are usually harder than the exams that WGU provides so for example like this CompTIA CISA this is probably generally harder than the you know than any of these like kind of um exams like the objective exams that WGU makes so it's not really surprising that I see all of the external like more difficult things in the specialization so this is kind of like you know you can kind of get a sense for the difficulty of the different courses it's not again it's not like 100% accurate but for the most part general is easiest the core courses medium the specializations are, are more difficult or harder and then this column this study.com transfers column this is basically um, the courses that you can actually complete inside of study.com like before enrolling in this program and then you can kind of transfer them in to your wg wgu degree like making it like easier to finish like once you actually start doing the degree you'll have like less classes that you have to complete this can be like a pretty good option if you are kind of new to distance learning or you're like absolutely new to it and you don't want to commit to like a full term at wgu you can just kind of do month by month at study.com and i have a i have a, a discount code here and i also have like a, a video that completely covers this whole process of transferring in courses from study.com. So if that's something that you feel like you want to do, um, I'd recommend doing it. I, I did it for my computer science degree and for my original uh, bachelor's degree. I didn't transfer them for the bachelor's degree. I didn't use study.com, but I did transfer like a lot of certs in. And this kind of tab here at the bottom, this uh, BSCSIA with study.com transfers completed. This is kind of like what the course load looks like if you were to transfer in all of the courses available from study.com. So this is if you came in kind of like empty, right? You didn't have any courses transferred. And then assuming you completed all these courses at study.com, this is kind of like what you would have left to do like once you actually enrolled in WGU. And it's much less, um, you know, I, I would recommend doing this just because um, I kind of like doing that kind of thing but you know it's just an option if you want to do it again watch this video totally talks about it in depth so check that out and then again assessment type i kind of talked about this a little bit earlier each class here to pass the class you it, you have to do like a certain thing so for example like english one english one here and english two they're both performance assessments so that means you have some papers that you have to write to pass the class the next class introduction to communications is an objective assessment it means you have to do like a, a multiple choice type exam to pass the class and you can kind of like get a sense i think these are pretty accurate for the most part i had to like google them all individually and like kind of figure out through reddit but and then these red ones you see these are you can assume these are slightly more difficult but they're actually when you pass these ones you get like an industry certification that you can like put on your resume and um, you know, it will help you in the job search. I don't have all of these. I have like ITIL, CompTIA A+, Project+, and then Network and Security+. Plus. Um, but these are all, all pretty decent ones. And then this last tab here is the Indeed job hits. So basically what I did is I searched like ITIL, for example, and it had across the US had like 18,400 know, hits for ITIL. And CompTIA A+, across the US, had 5,300 job hits and, and so forth. So you can kind of get an intuition on like which of the certs in this degree are like more well known than others, I guess. So like this project plus and CISA, like CISA especially, I would say the cert is like really good, like the content that's in it, but it just doesn't have like, it's not like that well known, I guess, with HR or whatever or random businesses. So just, I mean, it doesn't make the cert bad. It's still like, you know, a dope cert, but just kind of keep that in mind. So that's, this is kind of like, this column is just the job hits in terms of like marketability for keywords for those particular, uh, those particular certifications. And the last, the last one down here, I just want to talk about it a little bit. It's a final, basically it's just, it's not necessarily more difficult than any of the other specialization courses. It's just like a, a relatively long paper you have to write. Usually you're, you're trying to like solve some problem in the industry or like proposing a solution for something. I haven't taken this program, but I've 
I've done like three of these capstones and it's usually solving some kind of business problem or like a paper on like some kind of implementation of, of some sort. So just uh, bear that in mind. It's just kind of a, a big paper. Uh, my, my capstones are around like 30 to 40 pages, like kind of depending on, you know, the, the subject. And let's see this study.com. Oh, this, this link here, I'll, I'll put like a, a link in the description, but this link is just a link to the video where I kind of talk about study.com uh, where I kind of like outline like how to transfer courses in, like how to deal with like the enrollment counselor and, and that in that type of thing. And another thing I want to cover is kind of for each of these courses in the program, this is true for like all courses and all programs at WGU, you can always like find a post on Reddit where people kind of talk about their experience with a course and like what they did to pass it and like what helped them. So basically what I did here is I made all of these things links here and there's a lot of tabs at the bottom you can notice. So for example, say that you are um, maybe struggling with fundamentals of information security. So you would go here, you would click this link here and it goes to this tab. It goes to this tab at the bottom. And then here I put like a couple links in here, like a general Google search. So for example, if you click the general Google search, it just does a search like the course tips 2021 Reddit. And then you can kind of see a bunch of people talking about that particular course. And I also put kind of two Reddit threads underneath that I thought were decent or could be useful for you. So for example, you can click this and it should go like straight to the Reddit thread. And what number was this? C836. And this guy, maybe it's a, a girl, I don't know. He, he talks about C836 right here and he kind of gives his uh, take on the course and like what he what he did or what what was in the course or what was useful to him so I, I kind of did this for like every single course in the program so if you're thinking about registering and you're like I want to get a really good handle on you know what what's in these courses and like which ones are difficult and like what people did to overcome them I kind of like put all of these um I put links like links to Reddit. I searched Reddit and I found like advice for pretty much like every single course in here. Um, so that will that will definitely help you out. And I use Reddit a lot, right? Right when I'm going through my programs at WGU because there's always like really useful like insights on Reddit. So when you're done, for example, you're done with this. If you just click back home, it just takes you back to um, the kind of home spreadsheet here. So again, there's like these all have links and like uh, in, kind of insight on what different people did to kind of past the classes. And another thing I kind of want to mention uh, for the third party exams, that is these ones in red right here that tend to be like pretty difficult. I actually made a, a video dedicated on kind of a generalized strategy that you can use to tackle these um, third party exams because they tend to be like kind of more difficult, right, than, than, nor than the normal WGU courses. So what I would do, um, at least my opinion anyway, and what I personally do is first of all, of course, like for example, if you're gonna do like CISA plus or something, first thing I would do is kind of like read a couple of Reddit threads just to kind of see what people are doing and like what their thoughts are and like what worked for them. And then I also made this video kind of dedicated to passing the, the courses. So I'd take what you learned on Reddit and then take what you learn in this video that I made and kind of use that to just work through these kind of more difficult third party exams one at a time. Basically for the third party ones, the more difficult ones, just read the Reddit strategies and then watch this video and then you should be, you should be pretty good. And a general rule of thumb for the most part for these kind of like outside exams like the more practice questions that you can do and understand the higher chances that you have to pass the exam on the first time so for example if you're doing a plus it has two exams so for example you're trying to do the first exam if you only do like you know 200 practice questions your chances of passing will be like much less than if you you found and did like a thousand practice questions if that makes sense and for perspective um i usually will try to do for the CompTIA exams i'll try to do like do and understand about a thousand practice questions per exam seems really like insurmountable but it's not that bad and for like uh, isc squared like cissp i did like 4500 unique practice questions because that exam sucks and it's hard uh, so just you know it seems like a lot of work but you know just go through it at your own pace and kind of like do one class at a time and like focus on one exam at a time and you will get through it eventually so yeah honestly this degree is is really good it probably one of the most marketable if not the most marketable bachelor's degree that wg offers maybe outside computer science but that's kind of like another story um but 
super good degree, super good certs inside of it. It will give you a nice skill set. It's just a little bit more difficult because the amount of third party certificates. So it's not the best one if you're trying to like finish quickly, but it is it is the best one to get. Like if you don't really care about the difficulty of the third party exams, you just want something that makes you like really marketable for cybersecurity. Um, it's, it's one of the better degrees to get. And I also want to say like, just a disclaimer, it's not like if you get a degree, you, you can automatically get a job in cybersecurity or something like this. There's like more pieces of, of the puzzle right there's like you know the location like where you're applying and like your personal projects and your knowledge and your ability to interview well and like your appearance and hygiene and like all those all those other things right but this is a good start in terms of like your credential and gaining some base knowledge it's like super good but yeah just um if you're considering doing this degree I would, I would say like this one's more of a marathon than a sprint. When I when I do degrees at WGU, I tend to like sprint them like really hard, but this one I would consider like a marathon. So uh, I'm not even gonna like say like how long this might take. Um, it just kind of depends on you as an individual. If, you, if you're kind of nervous about it, you're like, I don't know, there's a lot of classes. Like you can always like start off at study.com and kind of like do these courses here so for example you can always kind of like you can always kind of do these courses from study.com and then you know transfer them in at the end and the good thing about that is for example if you do these ones and you you change your mind about doing cybersecurity or something you can still like transfer these into wgu and it will like satisfy the same like general and core courses for for example if you want to go to like cloud or something or like software development or something like that i'll just kind of recommend you talk with your enrollment counselor and have them evaluate your any existing like transfer that you might have but um yeah it's always a good idea to, to talk to wg first especially before you start kind of doing these classes outside um but yeah that's pretty much all i had it's a pretty good degree in my opinion it's like a, a great degree a great search in it um but yeah i hope this is helpful if you're on the fence about it i hope this kind of provided you more information if you have any questions or anything please like let me know in the comment section and if you've been kind of watching my videos and you like my content or if you're new and you like my content please feel free to like and subscribe it really help out the channel a lot and i respond to everybody's comments so please feel free to leave comments if you have any questions or criticism or or you want to make corrections uh to anything you've seen in this video or anything like that thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye bye